We are almost set to go here. Rossi and Anderson kick it off and we're underway at Starfire. Seattle Sounders and Colorado Springs switchbacks looking to seize some playoff positioning here as we're underway at Starfire. Fantastic. So close. The last time you and I were here, Aaron, Rossi missed a penalty halfway through the first half. He had a couple free kicks that he wished he'd taken better. And then he turned around and scored what ended up being the game winner in about the 58th minute. Looking for a, a, maybe a quicker response today, and he just missed. Well, he certainly is due. Hasn't scored since July 12th against Arizona United here at Starfire. Chops back into the middle and a goal. Miguel Gonzalez puts Colorado Springs on the board in the 18th minute. Well, that's just soccer for you. One minute. S2 have hit the crossbar. Next minute, Colorado Springs have a goal. And who else is assisting that other than Luke Vercoloni? Nice little ball into the path of Gonzalez, the local guy. It's very well worked for Colorado Springs to take the lead. Hold up, says the referee. What have we? Just a little bit of pushing and shoving in the box. No more of that, if you please. Curling toward the goal, getting ahead on it, in toward the goal, it's in! It's Son Yang! And it only took six minutes for Seattle to find the equalizer in the second half. Just like that, yeah, it's Samuel. Oh. That's well won by Mielli on the far post. Good ball in from Sergio. You can see it right here. Great header down by Mielli, and Samuel just pops in front of the defense. He's standing right on the goal line. And what a debut. Myron Samuel gives it for Sergio, who has some space if he can control. Now it's Samuel back into the middle. Samuel again into the middle. Is this a penalty? It is! He's scored once already, and now Myron Samuel. Well, it's Oleg Anderson. Oh, my goodness. I can't keep these two straight. Well, what I like about this the most is Anderson. Watch the patience he has on this run. You can't see it at the very first part, but he holds up the line, stays onside. Mata finds him, gets the ball back. As we can see, he plays him in there again, and no question this time. Referee Josh Wilkins points to the spot. Huge opportunity for S2. Myron Samuel, Sergio, and Oleg Anderson are working so well together right now. And the only thing that Colorado Springs could do was try and prevent a shot, and that's what they did. And it's given as a penalty. The usual taker is Pablo Rossi. He's not in the match any longer. And so it will be Sergio Mota who will line up to try and give Seattle the lead. Well, certainly the halftime changes by Ezra Hendrickson have worked wonders here. So much more time for Seattle on the ball in the midfield, getting their outlets. They're not under pressure all the time. Sergio's penalty. Off the bar! 86th minute now, and we anticipate a good four or five of stoppage time, so roughly 10 left in the match. Samuel goes up to try and win that. And he does. A shot to Samuel. Myron Samuel has two on the afternoon. A sloppy header from Chris Christian. We almost saw this happen in the first half. And this time it does happen. Myron Samuel runs onto the ball and finishes. It's 3-1 Seattle. And surely that's the end of this one. Yeah. Nate Robinson. Nate and Saeed playing on the same side here. Harada in for Gonzalez. He has the goal for Colorado Springs, is into the middle, and it's a second. Aaron King gets the goal. And maybe we're not quite done yet in the 94th. And just as I go and say it, we haven't seen anything from them. We've had the four, and there is the final whistle. A little bit of relief there. In absolutely thrilling fashion, Seattle Sounders FC2 come from behind, and they will take all three points, winning this one by a final score of 3-2 to two here at Starfire. What an absolutely enticing game, Aaron.